I did a lino cut and it was probably about 20 years ago and it was on lino and it was a huge long one. So I haven't done any printing for 20 years, just about. So when I did it, I was extremely nervous and I kept thinking how hopeless I was going to be. And I was getting my head around using vinyl because as I said, I well, it's easier than lino that I've never used it before. And there's also that thing about an expectation of oh my goodness because in the first when they had the first exhibition I didn't participate because it was almost like I felt that I didn't want to intrude so when I was asked to do it I was reluctant but I'm pleased I did it because it's nice to be part of it and also I wanted also to remember I too because that's something that's really important to me and his family yeah so yeah. Ratu taught me um, sort of carver etiquette. He made me sit next to him for a whole, I don't know, hours and hours and I had to do everything correctly. And he taught me a really old what you say when you finish, which is not mother but molly. And he's um, in charge of Nakasaleka, which is the whole region, or he was. So um, he's more or less the boss of that region, but he passed away last year. So. It's, um, it's entitled, Did You Bring Your Bill On? Because every time when I went to see Ratu, wherever we were drinking kava, he'd always ask me if I brought my bill on because he not wanted to make sure I had it because the bowls are usually really large. The first one you always have the large one because you have to, but after that, because it was often a long night, we had to do quite a lot of drinking. So then I had my own billow and he would always ask me when I went to drink Carver at his house or anywhere else if I brought my billow. It sort of sums up the memory of him asking me that and yeah, and the hand is waving goodbye the ocean, which is part of when you travel to Kandavu, it's you have to go by ocean. You go by fibre, which is what they call fiberglass boats. So we go by fibre over the ocean. And to me, as soon as you're on the ocean or in that water, it's a wonderful feeling. So it's about the water, about him you know, saying goodbye and the memories that I have of going there. And also, I suppose I'm in the middle, but the hands are waving goodbye. And the billow is symbolising just the culture, the happiness, and all of the shared times that we drank kava, because when you drink kava in the village, people sing, people share, and it's just, it's a sort of community wonderful experience. So that's what it's about.